Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about cochlear. Common health issues as a mixed dog. The cochlear tends to inherit any of the health problems from its two parent breeds. This can include progressive retinal atrophy, cataracts, cardiomyopathy, weakness of the heart muscles, syringomyelia, a fluid-filled cyst in the spinal cord, and hip dysplasia, in which the bone can become loose from the socket. Cancer is also a leading cause of dog in both of its parent breeds. No matter where you're buying from, you should make sure a thorough health screening has been done. Regular appointments at the vet are also crucial to catch problems early. Fortunately, with proper care and good breeding, this mix normally lives between 12 and 15 years old. Temperament the cochlear is a very friendly and lovable soul, equally playful and tender-hearted, who will fit easily into the family structure. They should get along well with everyone, including other dogs, but you should be careful about introducing other animals like a cat into the home unless the dog has been raised with it from an early age. As a highly active and energetic dog, the cochlear will need plenty of mental and physical stimulation throughout the day. If it's left alone for too long without anything to do, then it could resort to destructive behavior. It should also adapt well to apartment living, provided it receives enough exercise every day. How to take care of the cochlear The cochlear is a medium maintenance dog, good for inexperienced owners. Grooming, feeding, and training should be straightforward, but exercise and socialization will require more time and effort. Fortunately, thanks to this dog's gentle and good natured temperament, much of its care routine should be hassle free. Maintenance and grooming as a light shedder, the cochlear should be brushed a few times a week to remove loose hair and keep it looking nice and clean. It has no other special grooming requirements, but owners should never neglect other aspects of its care. You will need to trim the nails about once a month to prevent them from cracking and clicking on the floor. This can cause the dog pain and discomfort. Examine the ears regularly for signs of infections and clean them out accordingly. Finally, you can formulate a good oral care routine with the help of your vet to prevent gum and tooth disease. Training the cochlear is a highly trainable dog both eager to learn and responsive to human commands. Positive reinforcement methods can help a bit with motivation, but this dog should be an active and eager participant in its training. Exercise because of its strong hunting heritage, the cochlear may require more than an hour of exercise every day. Long walks will not be enough. This dog loves to run and chase after balls or discs. It's also an eager participant in agility and hunting challenges and excels at swimming. A fenced yard is recommended so you can let it play without worrying about it wandering off. When it's on the leash, a strong harness is also recommended to prevent injury in case your dog lunges at other animals. Puppies like all dogs, cochlear puppies will need to be socialized early and often to avoid shyness and temperament issues. Fortunately, because of its natural friendly disposition, this isn't too much of a concern. The larger problem is its strong prey drive. This can be discouraged somewhat with proper training and a strong focus on obeying commands, but some prey drive should be expected to remain. Classes, crate training, and daycare can all help improve overall behavior though. If you have any other questions about puppy issues, like microchipping and vaccines, then you should talk with your vet. What is a cochlear? The cochlear is a cross between a cocker spaniel and a cavalier king Charles spaniel. Playful, affectionate, and gentle, it's a great family companion for everyone. The most common colors are black, brown, red, golden, and white. How do I potty train a cochlear? Potty training is a matter of sticking to a consistent schedule that conforms to the dog's natural behavior and body limitations. While all individual puppies are different, a good rule of thumb for the number of hours it can hold its bladder is the dog's age in months. This should be considered an upper limit, Ideally, it should be taken out much more often than this. Until it has full control, around 9 to 10 months of age, normal training methods should work well. Reward your puppy with praise and treats when it has done a good job. Antagonistic methods probably won't do anything except alienate your dog. Crate training and paper training, puppy pads, can help make the process much easier. Fortunately, this mix should be fairly easy to house train. Is a cochlear a good dog? The cochlear is remarkably well-behaved, gentle, even-tempered, and affectionate. Unless very poorly treated, 
This mix should have few behavioral issues at all, 